Today's Bible study comes from John chapter 6, verses 41 through 46, and reads as follows. At this, the Jews there began to grumble about him because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I came down from heaven? Stop grumbling among yourselves, Jesus answered. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them, and I will raise them up at the last day. It is written on in the prophets, they, all, they will all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard the Father and learned from him comes to me. No one has seen the Father except the one who is from God. Only he has seen the Father. Now, in this part of the passage, the Jews uh, were a little bothered. Because um, Jesus told them, I am the bread and I came down from heaven. Uh-oh. You claim to come from heaven? But man, you are the son of Joseph and Mary. Your father and mother, we know them. We've seen them. We've spoken to them. How can you now say you come down from heaven? Now, remember the Jews had all the information to tell them what the prophets had said. They had all the things that the prophets had done. They had all the miracles and things the Lord had provided in that time. But what they didn't have was the faith. They didn't have that faith. So even though Jesus is and who and what he said he is, Without, they, without that faith, they couldn't see it because you're the son of Joseph, whose father, lowercase f, and mother we know. But Jesus had told you who he was. You had seen what he did. You had seen nothing like this before. And when he was acknowledged to being who he said he was, you're still having problems believing. So he tells them, stop grumbling among yourselves. Jesus answered, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them, and I will raise them up at the last day. So, Jesus got to put him in check. The Jews were complaining. Um, because of the way John identifies these people. They were not believing in Christ. And when Jesus told them to stop murmuring, they were still talking to themselves, saying, how can he be? And, you know, when people talk and when you're trying to talk, it's probably they're not really feeling you right then and there. And then he says, no one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him. Well, you know, the Jews already thought that they were all chosen by God because of their birthright, and they thought it. Jesus made it clear that God, God has to draw you to them, to him, before you can come to him. And if you respond to the Lord, you will respond to the Son. And I will raise him up in the last day. All that saying, all those that go to Christ, that are drawn by the Father, will have eternal life and will be resurrected at that last day. And they shall be taught by God. Now, if you remember Isaiah, the book of Isaiah says, All your children shall be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. And all it's saying is if you belong to God, then you are taught by God. You are drawn to him and you learn about him and his ways. If you hear the Lord's word and you want it, you will learn from the Father, for his word will come to you. Everyone who has heard and learned the Father comes to me. Uh-oh, that means... 
if you go to God and he changes your heart and you you know who he is, then you are going to go to the Son. Because Jesus is the mediator. And remember, when he said, if you, if you see me, you see my Father. Well, if you hear him, you hear his Father. And then it makes a point very pristine, crystal clear. Jesus has seen the Father. He has a relationship to God the Father, and he has seen him, but no one else has, no man. No, but it tells you that right there. No one has seen the Father except the one who is from God. Only he has seen the Father. Woo. So if anybody is telling you the Lord was sitting at the foot of their bed and he told them this and that, it's not true. If somebody told you they seen the Father, then you better see if they are Jesus the Christ or they lying to you. Go to the Lord. Seek out the Lord. And you'll see the bread of life waiting for you. Ready to feed you and fill you with his word and protect you throughout your days until you meet with him in eternal life. Amen.